Hey guys, Jalen's here. Uh, doing something a lot different than what I've done in the past. Uh, I haven't even posted things in a long time. Basically now, um, I've been smoking for over 20 years now and uh, decided to take the, the plunge and go into vaping. That was just shortly about a month ago and uh, now I'm just unboxing and uh, showing a preview to the newest mod that I have picked up today. Now, um, if you guys like this video, um, I'm, I'm thinking of making more videos. If you guys are showing any interest, please like and subscribe. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is starting a video series where basically uh, in the life of a new vapor in 2019. And just to give you a little preview, a tiny, tiny preview, the Smoke uh, RH uh, A85. This was my first kit that I, that I got into when I broke into the whole vaping market. Um, and it did, me, it did me very well. Of course, when you're new, you don't really know you know too much about what's what and this and that but you kind of just went for the small easy mod something that's uh popular and and that works for you um shortly after that i did get a uh donation from one of my cool friends uh mr paulo thanks a lot uh he donated his smoked uh sharon mini uh mod to me um and i've been using that which is working really good and just a week or two ago, I did purchase this Vupu Drag 2 kit, um, and I'm loving this kit so far. Uh, but again, if you guys are really into that kind of stuff and you think that's going to be something that you'd be interested in, please like and subscribe and even comment and let me know if that, that's something that would work out for you, because I'm really interested in helping people not smoke and get into the vaping scene. So anyway, back to what we're doing here. Uh, today, I just purchased the Aegis Solo kit. Uh, the reason why I like this kit and the reason why I went for this kit was one from my experience from what i've went through here i do want something a little bit more subtle um which i was gonna go for the full black but i had to get this because that camo and the gunmetal looks really sick on this so i wanted to get something a little bit more um smaller a little bit more handheld daily driver ish so basically you know you can just whip in your bag put in your pocket you know do whatever you want and you know you're not, you're not gonna have any issues with it so that's why i went with this guy and, and the ratings on, on the just um series in general is actually really good uh, from all the, the reviews I've seen. So I went ahead with this guy. And the cool thing about this, and I can get into more details in other videos, is that this tank and this tank are interchangeable um, coils, which is really cool. So I bought a kit here. Uh, this guy right here, uh, the V8 Babies. And supposedly they can fit into both. So that, that's actually user friendly for me because I already have a pack of five here. So if I burn out on these coils, I can definitely swap them out. <clears throat> anyway, let's get into the unboxing. Um, today I also purchased some of this, which actually looks and sounds and smells really good. And I got myself a Sony VTC6. This is a 3000 milliamp. I wanted to get the highest milliamp per hour battery I could get for this rig here, considering it's only a single battery mod. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this guy up. Now, one thing that I've noticed with a lot of these uh, uh, mod kits is that their uh, packaging is usually very hard to take their stuff out because they always got that sleeve which is I mean you know it's nice to show off the, the product but, oof. and sorry if I'm sniffling a lot my allergies have just started up this uh, just recently which is a big piss off but that's okay that's kind of part of life um, this was already open because when I bought it I asked the, uh, the guy that was helping me to open it so I can take a look and see what it looks like so um, simple packaging this is from Geek Vape uh, which is a, I believe, a uh, Chinese brand. And here's the mod. Um, you can see it's black. It's got the metal accents here and this kind of cool camo white and black gray setup here, which is really cool. And it's kind of like a leather-esque uh, stitching and feel, which is really cool. And it's really small to the hand. And if you want to match it or uh, compare the size with um, something, you can see here, this is the battery packaging. My smallest mod that I had is, I guess, the... Uh, Smoke RHA85. Oops. Right here. So you can kind of see the size difference there. It's a little bit, it's definitely a lot taller, but it's definitely a lot less uh, wide. And I guess it's a little bit thicker, but uh, this one's still like, it's just, it's perfect size. I, I kind of like that. So, like I said, this is a single battery mod. Now, to get to the battery compartment, you unscrew like this. I forgot to mention also something that kind of helps the whole theme of what I'm doing with this recent mod is that 
It's actually built to be very rugged. Um, it's actually waterproof and dustproof, which is really cool. Now, make sure when you're installing these, you know what is positive and negative. How it looks here, it looks like the top is negative by that line that's showing there. And that big plus sign in there, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's probably too dark. So, here we go. Um, and this is one thing that I've learned, because most of the batteries that you can buy, um, there isn't actually much of a difference. Like, you know, when you're used to normal AA batteries, you can see a big uh, top piece that kind of bubbles out that you know that that's one of the, the terminals that will touch, um, where these are pretty much flat, but you can kind of see that this has a circular thing, like a, it's a little bit smaller than this one. It's just a full metal piece on the top there, so you know that's negative. I don't know why they don't do more, um, I don't know, more just illustrations by just basically putting a plus and minus like they do normal batteries, but uh, whatever. So even with that, with the battery in there, it's actually not that heavy. It's very light. Um, even from when I had some friends see this mod, you can tell that this is pretty heavy because it's all metal and it's actually got a lot of weight to it with a single battery mod, just like that. But it's way heavier than that Aegis Solo. Um, yeah, so there you go. The battery's in there. It's actually not very light. It's very small. It's nice nice feel to the hand. Um, you can see here, it's got the, the fire button there, the up and down. Um, oh, that's really cool, because when I actually watched some reviews, they were saying that the bottom and the up and down buttons here are very clicky and too loud, but uh, they definitely soften that up, and let's see if you guys can hear that. And then here, that's what they used to sound like. Oh, just turned it on. Oh, there you go. Now here, you can see it's on the wattage modes, it's set to 35 watts, which is pretty cool. The one thing that I actually like about this when I saw the, the videos is that um, the digital display is actually uh, bright. And there's actually settings, I think it's hold, I think it's these two. Of course, no, I think you hold them down. Oh no, you hold down the, the trigger button and press up and then I'll get you the, the brightness. Which isn't on the drag too, which I wish they had. I know that um, I've read somewhere that you can actually do a firmware update to make the... Uh, the display a little brighter there but it's nice to know that you have it right off the bat with this guy so that's kind of i'm not going to go too much into detail with all the settings and stuff because it's almost the same for all mods um but like again that'll be for future videos if you guys are interested now let me get the coil here or on the tank so what comes in the box is The Cerberus tank from Aegis, which I'm loving the gunmetal look the color to that. It is pretty sick. I was gonna go black because I wanted a really stealthy look, but this this gunmetal because I'm such a gunmetal lover. I love gunmetal. Um, yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I was hoping it would uh, focus, but it looks like it's focus now. It's got the big. Uh... See, I'm not a huge fan on the big tips there, but. Uh... We'll play around with that and see. So we'll get this screwed on here. Okay. There you go. So that's the gunmetal version there. New coil. Yeah. Oh, I went with the old. Oops. That's okay. Anyway, now what else is in the package? Uh, big box full of stuff. I can feel it's even bulging full of products in here, which is kind of cool. But what comes in there is uh, some tooling. Okay. Uh, another coil. I'm not sure if it's the same coil or not. I think they, it's the same coil as what's pre-installed pre, pre there. A wonderful do not eat thing. And, you, and then the glass too. Uh, this is the straight glass, so it's going to hold a little less than what the what's installed there. And then a bunch, and then, uh, ooh, that's actually really nice, I like that. Uh, USB cable uh, charge, uh, and this one's actually flat. I love the flat, it just, it's more cleaner to me. But that's cool, I just wish it was black, but that's okay. And what else is in there? I think there's some, yes, which most kits will come with, because there's a bunch of old rigs, and it looks like a crap load. That's a lot. But yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and juice this guy up. What, I th what I've heard from reviews is that it's just a simple quarter turn to open this guy. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's cool. Got a rubberized top, which is kind of nice. 
And you got the two fill ports there. So that's, that's pretty cool. I've never had a, a, a quarter turn fill port there. And I'll screw this guy, get to the coils. I'm gonna juice her up with the bears. This guy smells so good. Gummy bear kind of thing. It smells so yummy. I got this in three milligram because that's the lowest I, that's the most I'll ever go. And we'll go ahead and just prime this guy up. It's a coil mesh, that's cool. I thought these were just coils. Get some in there. Get some in the holes. Now I heard some some of the concerns that people are not liking with the coils that come with this kit is that the holes are very small. So intake isn't uh isn't a, it's going to be a huge priority, I guess, for this kit. But when you really think about how much are you sucking back as you're smoking, you're not you're not going through the tank in a minute. Like it's it takes a good while to go through a full tank. So, oh yeah, that smells smells great. All right, I'm going to put the pet tank back on. I'm going to fill her up. Put her turn out. It's kind of funny, I never really like to fill the tanks more than half because I always like to change my flavors. I might have went a little bit more than half, but that's okay. Alright, so I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. And uh, I won't let you wait for that, but uh, okay, guys. Now that I kind of semi-primed it here, I'm gonna actually just close off the the, fill, the air port here. And the cool thing I like about this one, because a couple of the th couple of the tanks that I have, uh, I think it's this fire one. It has no resistance; it's just a very free flow. I'm not really sure if I like that. I like it with a little resistance or at least some clicking. This one has some good resistance, so that's nice. I'm just gonna give a couple of good sucks here because I suck hard. So, looks pretty saturated from what I can tell here. So I'm gonna have it set to, uh, I don't know, 15. I already did a little pre-burns there without sucking on it. Cause I don't wanna suck. Oh, I can already get some decent taste out of that even though it was a very low wattage and it's not fully primed yet. Mm. So the coil here, I don't know if you guys can see it in the light, but the coil is rated for 30 to 45 watts, uh, best between 30 and 40, which is quite low actually. Turn it up to 20 here. Good thing is I'm getting some good taste out of this guy though. I like it already. Can only get better. It's coming. <coughs> Twenty-five. Yeah, I like the LC LCD. It's pretty pretty nice. Um, obviously, the drag too. There's not there's no qual like there's nothing horrible about it. But there's a couple things. I wish they did. They kind of upgraded the display for a little bit bigger. But I mean, I guess that's not the point. But I like LCDs. It just looks cool. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. The 30 here. Which is the absolute minimum what it's recommended for this coil. Cool. So yeah, this is my unboxing of the Aegis Solo. Um, really cool. I like how small it is. I like the look of it. It's a very sick looking mod. 
I guess they're they're rated one of the top for single single battery mods and uh, hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what you're looking for if you're looking for a new mod.